Good morning and welcome to another episode. Um, big episode today, big milestone for myself. I'm going to go out for my first solo sale. Um, it's going to go one of two ways, it'll either go really well or I'll be getting dragged in by the Coast Guard. <laughs> I'm only joking. I feel confident. I've had some good lessons from Adrian. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with what's going on. So the plan will be Portland Marina, out of the harbour, Lulworth Cove and back again. Um, yeah, I'm excited, uh, so let's get to the marina. So here we are on board Weymouth Warrior. So at the moment I've got all the seating cushions off of the boat and all the mattresses out the cabins because I'm having heating fitted, diesel heater. So this is my galley with the nice new oven that I fitted a little while ago with the help of my mate Aaron from Challenger Gas. <laughs> Two cabins, I've uh, got the aft starboard, the aft port. So this is the forward cabin, this is my one. So what I'm gonna be doing first is I will be getting my charts out and I will be uh, plotting a course from the uh, harbour entrance, which is there. I'm gonna set my course from just outside, like I say, over to Lowworth Cove. So hopefully we shall see Durdle Door. We've got cruise ships anchored in the bay um, and that's the plan. So as soon as I've done my course, I will then come onto my chart plotter. Um, I will turn the one on on the helm. I'll get the cover off. And from there, I've got my iPad, which I can link from here through Wi-Fi to the one on the helm. So what I can do is um, plan my route in here and that will just transfer straight to the one out there. <laughs> The next thing for me to do is engine checks as obviously I need an engine to uh, to get out from my berth and slot out the marina. So the engine is located under this stairway. So here she is, that's the stairs out the way. Um, and the checks I do, so the first check just behind here is the belt, make sure that there's plenty of tension on the belt. Um, way at the back I have the water reservoir you check your water levels and down there you will see the dipstick so I need two hands to take out that dipstick I'll check that I'm sure that'll be fine then I'll just have a general check over I can see uh, down below it's dry and clean there's no leak in which is good um, so that's the checks done after I've done the dipstick
Okay, that's us cruising along nicely. Eight and a half knots. Uh, the wind, if I decided to go to Lower Worth, straight in that direction, the wind is going to be pretty much at the stern the whole way and the thought of accidentally jibing doesn't really appeal to me. I could put a preventer on, but to be honest, today it's my first solo sail. It's just about handling the boat, getting used to it. So I've decided I'm not going to do Lower Worth Cove today. I'm going to stay in the bay, um, practice my tacking, um, yeah, just, just sort of get used to the boat on my own, I think. Um, I will do Lower Worth at some point, but the thing with sailing is you have to listen to the weather and you have to listen to yourself. And I just, you know, any, any little bit of doubt and you just shit can it, basically. So yeah, I'm just going to stay in the bay and just have a little play around here. So the part I have been most nervous about all day has been the coming alongside, doing it solo. But as you can see from earlier, I had a really nice long space to berth. There was only one boat on the end of the pontoon behind me. In fact, I'll show you now. I'll just flip back to that. So as I'm coming in, I'm looking across and I see a boat in what I thought was my space. So I'm panicking, but as I come around, sort of come around the corner, they're there. And uh, yeah, that's that, that's that, that's where they're standing. I'm looking at the gap and thinking, my boat's gonna squeeze in just, I don't really know what I'm doing. I could end up doing some damage here. Anyway, here I am. safely alongside the guy's actually really nice he's a french guy and his girlfriend um they've just got the boat themselves he's inexperienced um but he took my lines for me i threw my center line and she went in really nice so that was a big confidence boost for myself today has gone um really well uh it was, fortunately i couldn't get to lower worth i wanted to get to lower worth but um it was just the winds, you know, you have to listen to what the wind's doing. So I might go back out tomorrow. Tomorrow's looking like a much better wind direction, same sort of speed. So um, yeah, I think I'm going to hit it tomorrow. See how it goes. Thanks for watching, guys. I really enjoyed making this episode. Massive milestone for myself. If you enjoyed it, then hit the like button. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell if you want to know the next time I post a video. Thanks very much.